Hi, this is Christoph Impich at T4 Beastech and welcome to this short video where we are going to discuss how to set up a drill through between two reports using Report Studio. We're going to need a source report, a target report and some parameters. In this example, our source report is a cross tab displaying the revenue information per product lines and years. And what I want to be able to do is click at the intersection of a specific year and a specific product line and connect to my target report, my list report that's going to show me the breakdown per product type for the product line and the year I have selected from the source report. For the drill through to work, the target report has two filters one on the year and one on the product line and the information is transferred from the source report to the target report using parameters. I'm now in Report Studio to show you how all this has been set up. I'm looking at the target report. You recognize the list report with the three columns. I'm going to go in the Query Explorer to show you the query behind this target report. You can see these two filters I was talking about before. One for the year and it says year equal question mark here question mark because I want to create a parameter called year. The same applies to product line. Product line equal question mark PL question mark creates a parameter named PL. And actually these two guys create two prompts. If I was to run the report now, I would be prompt for the year and the product line. But because we are doing a drill through, the source report will populate those two parameters for me automatically. I am now in the source report to show you how to set up the drill through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the data cells in that cross tab. Go into the properties, click the ancestor button and make sure I select all cross tab fact cells by clicking this option here. Once I've done that, I can now click the Drill Through Definition button on the toolbar. To create a new Drill Through Definition, I click the New button at the bottom left corner of the screen. Then I specify that I want to target a report and click the ellipsis on the right hand side to select my target report. After that, I select the action. I want to run my target report and I want to open it in a new window so I click this box here then and finally I'm gonna specify the parameters I'm gonna pass from the source to the target by clicking this little pencil here this screen tells me that I have two parameters one is called PL the other one is year the only thing I need to do now is to select the method I want to use I want to pass the data item value and which data item value I want to pass the product line and this item will fill in the PL parameter in the target report. I do the same for the year. I pass the data item value, I pass the year and year will fill in the year parameter in the target report. If you were to work with cubes or DMR packages make sure you use the member unique name. Because I'm working with a relational package here this is it, I just need to click OK and OK again. You will notice that now my data cells are underlined, specifying that I can now click on the values here and go to my target report using the drill through I just set up. To show you all this in action, I'm going to run the report. And as you can tell, the data cells are underlined and I'm going to click the intersection of mountaineering equipment and 2013. It triggers the drill through, opens my target report in a new window and you see I'm looking at mountaineering equipment in 2013 and the breakdown per product types. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Christoph Impicciotti for Bistec and if you need any more information visit our website or please give us a call.